polyglot, filmmaker, writer, art historian. You're probably wondering what I'm talking about. Yes, this is all in one person. And this person with Hollywood and London beckoning, they've decided to stay in Ghana, yes, here in Africa, to inspire the next generation. We've got the privilege and the honor to meet her today. Come on, come on, let's go. And today, we get to meet a true inspiration of our time. She's the only auntie that we know that is a talented polyglot, well-versed in the arts, film writing, classic history, and African traditions. And is also the founder of ANO Institute of Arts and Knowledge. Please clap your hands to the beat as we welcome Auntie Nana Oforiata Ayim. So, without further ado, our next guest needs no introduction. No at all. Mm -hmm. She has done absolute wonders for the face of Africa, Ghana, and just impacted and continues to impact and, and just be a voice for our people. Can we please welcome again Nana Oforiata Eye? <laughs> okay, so as Ishira said, she's dying to meet you, we're dying to meet you, so we're going to go straight... And so are you. And so are you. So we're going to go straight into the questions. Where are you? Auntie Nana, where were you born and raised? Hi, first of all. That was a really, really beautiful introduction. I was really impressed by your German, <laughs> Russian. Yeah. The drumming, the tree, that was beautiful. Thank you for that. Um, <laughs> they, they, it was impressive. Um, I was born in Germany um, and I grew up between Germany, England and Ghana. <laughs> My question to you, how do you describe being a Ghanaian or an African? If someone was to say define it, um, I would say it's to be many things at once. Mm. Um, yeah, it's to be many things. I mean, Ghana is home. Mm. I feel very, 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 very blessed to be from this place mm. out of all the places in the universe. Mm. Um, to be a Ghanaian. Um, yeah, it's it's so many things. I don't know if I could put it into one one, one word or yeah. sentence. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, definitely. But special when when you when you're speaking, special comes to mind. Almost like how you feel about being a Ghanaian. Yeah, I I, I feel very lucky. I feel yeah. very blessed to be yeah. Ghanaian. I think um, there's so much richness in our history. Yeah. Um, there's so much pioneering. Yeah. So much um, path. Yeah. Um, path. Beating like you know. We, yeah, yeah. Um, there is so much light, there's so much um, talent yeah. and wealth of creativity, yeah. of expression. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, like it, it, I, I think it's no wonder that our kind of Kenti yeah. cloth is kind of become the, the cloth of Africa. Africa. Yeah, absolutely. In so many contexts. Yeah. Um, I think that's something very beautiful. Yeah, poignant yeah. about this particular idea. Definitely, yeah. so we're to the wise. Yeah. <laughs> so you slightly answered the next question, but what does family mean to you? Mm -hmm. Well, these questions are like, not so special. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, do you? <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. Well, family means, first of all, love. Oh. Um, like, absolute, unconditional love. Mm -hmm. um, love and hopefully support, I think. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we mean. <laughs> um, but hopefully it means support. Um, my family is very supportive, but I think at times 
they've been worried oh, about me yeah. because the path that I've taken is not a conventional one. No, it's not. It yeah. wasn't clear from the beginning that I would have success in this path. Yeah. I'd be able to make a living. Yeah, yeah. So there was concern, a yeah. lot of concern yeah. for quite a few years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but and that's the love that you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, and, and you know, at times it can be oh, that you're not support, but right. it is in a different oh, way. Yeah. It's, um, yeah, so love, support. Um, I think family can also mean people that you're not born yeah, into. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it can be the communities that you form yeah. and that you choose. Yeah. Um, and that love um, and support, you know, springs out of those communities and, and relationships as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, love, support, comfort, um, the freedom to be yourself. Yeah. Where else can you be yourself, <laughs> if not with family? Yeah. But yeah, definitely. In the far and distant future, how would Nana like to be remembered? As someone who inspired, somebody of light, mm. um, somebody who had like, you know, had lots of love around her and who created mm. that as well. Um, as someone who contributed to our continent expanding into herself again mm. you know like I feel like you know with such a great continent you know so many pluralities mm. and that we've been through a period of contraction mm -hmm. you know with mm. our people being taken away yeah. in the circumstances that they were taken away yeah. in and then having to live the consequences of that rupture yeah. in the way that we've had to, yeah. both here and in other places, yeah. and that contraction mm -hmm. and that pain. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, yeah, I would like to be remembered as somebody who helped to heal that mm -hmm. rupture mm -hmm. and to allow us to expand back into ourselves mm -hmm. in our fullness. Yeah. Yeah. Powerful, yeah. Okay, so Nana, give us one African proverb to build and inspire the next generation. Oh God. She, no, Auntie Nana, she probably wrote it by hand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, she's found it. So this is actually the middle bit, the, the bit that I can remember. Okay. It was a quine cha siu, a siu cha quine, o penine quine, yabo quine no kotua si ono, a siu no frititi. Oh wow! And your parchal for the viewers who don't understand, can you give us a translation? Yeah, it says the path crosses the river. The mm -hmm. river crosses the path, mm -hmm. but which of them came first? Mm -hmm. We made the path and found the river. The river came from long, long ago. The river came from eternity. Wow! Wow! That's amazing. That's amazing. And what would you like our young ones to gain from that? I think it's that, um, you know, we as human beings sometimes, you know, center ourselves so much in the world and the yeah. universe. Yeah. But there were things long before we came. Um, and nature was here long before we came. Yeah. Um, yeah. And we are part of that bigger cosmos yeah um and i think you know the beauty of so many of our proper proverbs when yeah. we pour libation yeah you know and, and we pray to um you know we pour for Odomon mm. god we we pour to um Asasia, like yeah you know we pour to mother earth yeah there's such a respect yeah um for for nature the earth, yeah and and i think this kind of poem or this drum poem speaks so much of the oldness and the beingness yeah. of nature and the yeah. waters and everything around us. Yeah. So to love and respect yeah. that, um, the, you know, the, the ancient existence. Yeah. Those things, you know, it's so funny. Who we spoke to someone recently, and they said almost the exact. It was almost identical that because we're a part of the environment, we have to look after the environment for the environment to look after us. Mm. It was just anti yeah. papra. Yeah, just. Yeah, it, that's really resonated. Yeah, that's amazing. And I think all too often now in the world that we live in, young ones don't even give that a second thought. It's, 
everything is taken for granted. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's real food for thought. Um, I would ask them, you know, like kind of connecting to what we just said. Yeah. I would ask them to respect and love nature, yeah. their surroundings. Yeah. Um, understand that it's so much part of us. Mm. Um, the earth, the yeah. rivers. That you know, if we throw something onto the ground or we throw something in the river, mm. it affects us. It does. It's not it just really we does. are that we're polluting the earth, but we're mm. polluting ourselves. Yeah. And it's also not respecting ourselves no. because you know it's it's part of us. Yeah. And so I think that's a big thing would be to love our surroundings and our environment, mm. to love ourselves. Yeah. Um, and respect ourselves. Yeah. I think those two go really hand in hand. We yeah. don't inspect, respect our environment, we don't respect ourselves. ourselves. Yeah. So to respect and to love ourselves yeah. um, and where we come from yeah. and where we stand. Yeah. Um, and then to love each other, mm. to support each other, to respect each other, mm. um, to put each other first mm. rather than, you know, looking outside Yonder. And yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, love and respect for self, for others, for our surroundings. Mm. And I think once we have those in place, in a way that's really true mm -hmm. and integral, mm -hmm. we're gonna, we're gonna yeah, kill it. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Because everything, we yeah. have everything we yeah. could possibly want in this country. Yeah. We are so rich. Yeah. It's actually yeah. unbelievable. Beyond, yeah. Um, and there is a reason that countries, you know, and so-called empires mm -hmm. have been coming to our shores yes. to loot so yes, and to, to loot take from us is yeah. because we have so much in abundance yeah. um, but we won't realise that until we do love and respect ourselves yeah. and what we have yeah. so I think if we, if the young people could do that mm -hmm. and actually see who we are and what we have mm. that's it, you know, everything else will come from that, that. Yeah. Yeah. my name is Dada and Dada is going to be the host for today's Destination Africa Challenge. We've spoken to Nana and she's told us about her journey thus far. Now we want to test her to see if she's smarter than the Destination African child. It's time <laughs> for the flag uh -oh. challenge. <laughs> uh -oh. So, the rules of the game. We have Team Destination Africa Junior and we have Nana. Uh oh, I know I'm going to lose this one. <laughs> My trusty, spectacular assistant shall show both teams the flags. You shall press your buzzer. Let's test it and see if it works. You two have your buzzer. The rules of the game are my trusty assistant shall show the flags to both teams. Press the buzzer. If you press the buzzer, it's your chance to answer. If you answer correctly, you get one point. If you answer incorrectly, the question gets passed to the other team. Are we ready for the first flag? Yeah. Is this African country flag? Yeah. Oh my god, I'm so bad at geography. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> I am. I'm terrible, oh, honestly. Oh, you'll be fine. There are a few in here you're probably going to get. Mm. Okay. Trust your assistant. Can yeah. we have the first flag? In three, two, one. I know this one's nice. Go on. Oh no! <laughs> For one point. Okay. Well done, guys. Okay, she's got time to catch Flag up. number two. Nana, why is your hand on the other side? Nana needs to be near the buzzer. Okay, that's two for destination F2. Nana, put your hand on the Ivory Okay, Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast, correct. Okay, so, since I've got three rights in a row, Nana has a question which she has to answer all by herself. This is worth two points. Next flag, please. Uh oh. <laughs> These guys know. I'm going to get it wrong. I'm so bad at geography. Oh, Libya. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh. <laughs> Sudan, I don't know. 
It was Turkish. Okay, what is it? Um, Very it's impressed. Cool. We have time to catch up then, don't we? I'm not gonna catch up. I know. I know my strength. It's still over till it's over. Okay. Let's Next do flag, please. South Sudan. Correct. Okay. 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 No, 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 no. It's not halfway. It's not halfway yet. Oh God. Hands in your bosom. Hands in your bosom. Hands in your bosom. Oh God. Oh. Somalia. Okay. Yeah. We we have to find out. Okay. 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 So now, Nana gets a question she can answer Oh my god. Oh, South Africa. Oh, ding! ding. <laughs> One for Auntie Nana. Okay, let's go. Let's test her again. Let's see. Oh my god, this is, this is horrible. <laughs> home sweet home. Home sweet home. Oh, oh, that's incorrect. <laughs> One more. One more, okay. Oh, 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 oh. It's for her. Oh. No, no. Alright, come on then. I don't know this one. Are you oh. serious? That's for the knee. You know? And it's a you're supposed to get my clean. No, no, I'm just wondering if I'm going to get that. Yeah. Eritrea. Oh, oh, oh. Ethiopia. Yeah. I don't, I'm, I'm telling you, this is not my strong oh, voice. Yeah, that's At all. Let's do a count. So on Auntie's team, we have one, <laughs> two. two. I, I'm happy to to give you this guy, yeah, you like to lose with you. grace on this one. <laughs> one, one, two, two three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, <laughs> Thank you. Someone has some homework to do. <laughs> Just in closing, what a fantastic, amazing interview this has been. Just before we go, a small token of our appreciation. We would like to do Oh my god! The token we give from the Destination African family. So oh my goodness. Time sharing your wisdom, your knowledge, and your experience with not just us, the family here, but those watching around the world. So, you're the Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. As we leave our dear Nana of Forietta, filmmaker, writer, art historian, as well as African traditionalist, we would like to say a huge, huge thank you. Until we meet again next time, Destination Africans would like to say, like, share, and subscribe. That's a very important thing to do. Woohoo! Until the next time, we'll say, it's